Hey you guys, I'm back with a quick video. Set up a small ebb and flow system for yourself. You could grow about in this much area, you could grow about mm, 240, 50 uh, you know, clones. So what do we got here? We got a one by eight tray here. It's gonna be another one by four over here, waiting for a tray to come. Keep it smaller, one by eight and one by four. Not two by, they're not their smaller size. Just to fit in a smaller space, if you have a small space. We got the lights up here. I'm gonna talk about them in a second. Okay, and these are four foot. Uh, these are four feet by twelve inches. These shelves. These are by sixteen. These trays, even though they're one by eight, they're actually bigger than one. So I had these up there before these shelves, but it was too short. It was hanging over. So I changed it to this. Anyway, so what do we got? We got the one by eight tray. We got the ebb and flow. You know, the connectors, the half inch and a three quarter. They come down here, made a hole in the shelf, and they come down right over here. They got two water pumps, one for the 1x4 and one for the 1x8. Okay, I'll show you in a second how that works. Okay, got the hole over here. I'm gonna go through the tools you might need as well. Okay, so what do we got here, right? So, and I got a, this little nice, what is it called, Hydro Master from HM Digital. Good price, amazing. It's it's powered on at all times if it's plugged in or it could be battery operated if you unplug it so it's you could take it off the mount and move it around if you want but i got it permanently attached here leads are in there this works great for me these are all automated with those smart switches you see on the floor which i'll show you in a second right so where would do like uh so this is all you're gonna probably need for the holes this is great all the way up here this is great for making the holes for these guys also the holes on the sides over here Okay, the tubing is right here. I'll put a link to all the stuff that I could think of you might need from Amazon. So you could just get it quickly if you want. These lights turned out to be amazing. They're dimmable. So I usually put them at 50%, 20, depending on the PAR reading down here. You might want to get a PAR meter. If not, just put it on 50%, you'll be fine. These two I got to replace out. They're kind of older, they're not dimmable. So they're always at 100%. They're 100 watts each. These two are 100, 100, they, they can't be dimmed. This is a hundred. This guy in the middle right here, that's 150. So I put that a little bit further away so I could cover a bigger distance. And the back one again, oops, not zooming again. The back one again is also a hundred, okay? So in this much space, right? So now, shelves over here. Like I said, these are 12 inch. So you have space for two 10 by 20 trays. 10 by 20, 10 by 20. This is 48 inches long. Each tray is actually 21, so 42. You have some leeway fits perfectly so you could put uh your cuts in there or after the cuts you could put them in three inch rock pools and i'll show you the math on my screen to how this works uh also i got a little fan up here i'll put that too it's pretty nice actually it has this pulsing thing that just it's not always on the strength so it just you know just gets slower faster keeps the thing moving around anyway now what is this thing my favorite thing in the world i finally pulled the trigger it's like kind of expensive and i bought it now what happens is that, so for example, when I did the math over here, this is my, this is my uh, shelf, it's just 16 inches long. I got the center, which is right over here. Actually I did a little bit longer than uh, the center, because I didn't want the lights to be exactly uh, in the middle, because you know, it's gonna hit, hit the wall if you think about it. So I want them a little bit further out. So I measured it. See the shelf is 16, so I did eight and a half, okay. Then, you just measure the middle point of the light from here to here basically so if you take the entire length of the light divided by two i got that number put it over here came over here well 16 or whatever i think it's like six inches or whatever yours will vary i did that mark here and then another mark here this represented for me the holes i'm going to have to make on the ceiling you see you don't want to measure from here to here and then go measure on top from the wall to there because if your wall is crooked or slanted or anything, you're not going to be aligned at all, okay? So this thing is amazing because it has a plumb line, okay? What does that mean? So when I turn this on, you see that red dot on the bottom? If I hit this here, exactly where I want it, and you look up, you can see it shows you, well, if I move this way, for example, it's here. So I guess. And you look up, it tells you exactly where your hole should go for your a hanging thing so you could do this and see if your lights are aligned or whatever but i love this thing it really saved me a lot of work it's 
it's much easier to work with and hassle free I'll put a link to this too this is great for making the holes for this and for that to run the pipes through it all works great talked about this now I'm going to show you guys in action of how this works okay now let's come over here because my stuff is smart if you notice I have a ebb and flow 1x8 water pump I'm going to click that here we go it's on pumping I don't know why it starts out so quick by the way these two water pumps are old pumps I had which I'm going to get rid of soon I'm going to link you guys the Hydro Master or Hydro Farmer, I don't know which one was the name, but I'll link the right ones. They're better. Their connections are actually designed for, this is a half inch, this is a three quarter inch pipe. I'll link the pipes too, and it works better that way. This thing I had to um, jam it onto the top, and it, this, that pump didn't have a half inch connector. So that was an issue for me, but that's result. You can see, it's filling up pretty quickly. All right, oh, note, uh, when you go to buy your uh, supports over here. I bought these expensive ones. This this was like the shelf was like twenty dollars. Each one of these was ten dollars. But two of these, you see, I have two big ones. That these mm -hmm. these two together could support a thousand pounds. I have three of them, and I have two other ones in the middle. So literally, this shelf could support seventeen hundred pounds. Way overkill because this whole thing is about it fills up about seven gallons. I think because of my level here, I reduced it a little bit because obviously it's a, a low tide. It's called low tide one by eight. <laughs> Uh, blood and drain table anyway so about seven gallons that's about seven times that's about 50 60 pounds plus the plants inside i don't know you can't pass 100 it's impossible so you know 1700 pounds only 100 pounds it's fine it works just great right so as you can see it's filling up over here soon it's going to hit this level start going down this is your backup in case your smart things fail Real quick over here, I have three smart switches from smart things that you saw on my computer that controls these three over here, so it's all automated, basically said so. This is the lights. If I hit this, well, actually, it's on right now, but it's just not plugged in. This is the cable for it. Um, I'll plug it in, I'll show you guys, I guess, in a sec. All right, but anyway, let's look over here. We're filling up. We're getting a return already, yes. So anyway, now, if I hit the switch and turn it off, this is my entire grow setup over here. See, it's on, so it's red. Turn it off. There we go, it's off now. It's just gonna start draining out from the bottom, obviously. Cool, All right, if you can pause one second, let me show you guys how the lights will look when they're turned on. We're back, I turned all the lights on. As you can see, that's what they look like when they're on. So I got that little, I'll put this thing to this, uh, well, it's too light, I'll, it's too bright, I'll turn it off in a second. But um, this one, that's this one. Got it off Amazon, pretty cool price, it has six plugs on it, I liked it a lot. Anyway, so all of this is controlled from here. So if I click this button, it's on the side, or as you can see, everything's off now. Right? And this is draining, beautiful. It's really dark in here, but that it's called clone lights. This is the button. If I click on my computer, boom, everything turns back on. Obviously, I don't do it manually, it's all set up on timers, but just for the sake of showing it. Uh, on a heat mat, I'll help you use one a seat starter. Even if you take cuts, you really want to have it. If your room and your space might get colder, too cold, you want to have one of these. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it all. Right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, and by the way, uh, oh, there it is, training. I want to show you guys a couple of things. The math I did, hold on, let me wait for that sound. All right, I'm back, that sound was annoying. I wanted to wait till it ended. So the math I got over here is the one by eight, the one by eight tray, which is this one up here, could hold about 29 and four on this side, four, 29 by 416 inside. The one by four could hold about 56. And then the four times 18. Uh, those are the four trays, 10 by 20 trays that you put over here. Each one holds 18 three inch rock wheels. Very important. I did this entire math off of three inch rock wheels because this thing is about 14 inches, but you only want to put three. 
and then I put 29 going that way. If you if they're they're gonna be really close and tight together, so if you hmm, if you want to make give them some space to grow, you might want to space them out. So obviously your totals would be a lot less. Anyway, so about 244 is what you could get out of a space about this big. Oh, this is an eight inch. This is an eight foot shelf. This is cut. I cut it out to 69 or 70 inches, and these are 48 inches. Uh, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Happy growing.